In this video, I'll show how to create a new goods issued slip in the inventory module. Start by clicking inventory at the top of the screen, then click on the production menu. Go to the left menu to the goods issued section and click on new goods issued. In this menu, you can track inventory movement for manufacturing goods. This will help track production costs and inventory quantities. This menu will also affect the actual inventory quantities of the entered locations. There are two ways you can enter data. If you have a large amount of data to enter, you can do a batch upload by clicking Option in the upper right corner, then click eCount Web Upload. You can copy and paste the data from Excel and then click Save when you're done. This video will discuss manual entries. First, Verify the date at the top of the screen is correct. Then enter the location where the inventory is coming from. Enter the factory where the goods will be sent to. Enter a project number if applicable. You can also create an issue number for this particular slip and enter any notes you have about the transaction. You can load an existing job order by clicking on the job order button. It is recommended that you load a job order and apply a bill of materials. It's important to note that when you click the job order list, it will be based on the factory that you've entered and the location. Select the job number and then click apply. As you can see, a job order and a manufactured quantity was already entered. If you would like to only send the materials for, say, five quantities instead of ten, you can do so and then click the Apply Bill of Materials and it will update the quantity in the goods issued slip. When you save the data, you can load this additional five at a later point by instead clicking the Apply BOM by Residual Quantity. Now, if you select the two items and then click on the View Inventory Quantity, you'll be able to view the inventory quantity of the entered location. If you click User Customization, you can change this quantity so click User Customization in the upper right corner, then go to Function Setup in the left menu, click on the Inventory tab, and then scroll down to the Other section and go to the Standard Location, click Setup, and then you can change it. Click Save when you're done. The Manufacture tab will affect the Goods Issued page. Then, going back, click the items, click View Inventory again, and you'll view the inventory quantity. When you're done, click Save at the bottom of the screen to simply save the goods issued slip, or if you'd like to view the slip, you can click Save and Print to view the slip that you've just created. You can modify this template by clicking Template in the upper right corner, Or, if you'd like to export it to Excel, click Excel in the upper left corner. If you would like to modify this screen, the entry screen you see here, you can do so by going to User Customization in the upper right corner, and then scroll down to the Template Display section for the Goods Issued Input screen. Click on Input Screen and you can modify it. You can verify the new goods issued slip that you just created by going to the goods issued list in the goods issued section. To modify or delete the goods issued slip, simply click on the slip number. You can modify it, then click save when you're done, or to delete it, click delete in the lower right corner. 
If you'd like to verify the job order that is connected to the goods issued slip, click Job Order in the Job Order column. You can customize the screen by clicking Option in the upper right corner, then clicking on the Settings list. You can view the goods issued slip in a report by going to the goods issued status in the report section in the lower left corner. Enter the data. Make sure the dates are correct, otherwise it will not appear. Then click search and you can view the current data. You can modify this template by clicking on the search button and the option button will appear and then click template. You can verify the progress of goods issued created by loading the job order slip by going to the progress status by job order and then selecting the goods issued status. Thank you for watching the new goods issued video.